Okay, so for the next question on the menu today, uh, we have the situation where we have two blocks, each with a mass of 4.20 kilograms, nice, are fastened to an elevator. If the elevator accelerates up at uh, 1.6 meters per second squared, find the tensions in the two different cables that are supporting them. Okay, so let's draw a diagram for this, uh, and then we'll talk about part B later. Okay, so here we have um, a cable, and we have two blocks. Okay, so here we have M1, and this is 4.20 kilograms. This is tension 1, and in here, secured directly below that, M2, we have another 4.20 kilograms. And, yeah. Um, that's the situation. The total acceleration upwards is 1.6 meters per second squared. Okay, and this will be tension 2. Okay, so let's actually draw the forces in this and kind of make like a free body diagram of what's going on here. So here, of course, we're going to have the force of tension itself, T1. Here we're going to have the force of tension itself, T2. Here, we're going to have um, uh, FG2, and we're also going to have FG1 here. And we're also going to have, um, the tension is two-directional here. Okay, so um, given this, let's take a look at just the first block on its own the top block or maybe the bottom block I feel like that'd be a little bit easier so the bottom block so we only got two forces on the bottom block we have the tension pulling it up and the um, gravitational force going down T2 and MG so we know that the um, the net force of this is going to correspond to um, um, oh you can't see that so the acceleration upwards is going to be 1.6 meters per second squared so as a result of this, we know that the net force is going to be the mass of the second block times A that was given to us, and that's going to be equal to the tension force minus the mass of gravity, uh, I mean the gravitational force. Okay, so to solve for this, uh, we're, we're trying to solve for T, so that's just going to be um, M2A plus mg is equal to t2 factoring uh, those m's are the same so that's going to be m and then a plus g is equal to t2 subbing in the numbers we have t2 is equal to mass is 4.20 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second uh, going down plus meter squared uh, plus 1.6 meters per second squared Okay, uh, originally they were going opposite directions, but after the algebra, they're going the same direction. So let's math that out. And it also makes sense because you would expect that the tension to pull it upwards, it has to be more than gravity. So 4.2 times 9.8 plus 1.6, those are in brackets. And we have equals 47.88 newtons of tension in uh, T2. Okay, now that tension T2 is also going to be felt at the bottom of T1. That's why it, might, it was, uh, you know, we uh, decided to go with T2 before we went with for T1. So now let's talk about the top block. On the top block, we have the upwards tension. We have the mass, and that's uh, 4.20 kilograms. We have the force of gravity, m, 
G and tension 2. So, um, yeah, because uh, the top block has to be providing that tension. Otherwise, well, you know, it's not going to, the second block, the lower block, is not going to go upwards if the top block is not supplying tension to it at all. So this is, uh, that explains the diagram here. Okay, so let's um, sub in our numbers. So with the same procedure, we know that our um, mass times acceleration is going to be equal, um, and our acceleration being 1.6 meters per second squared upwards. That has to be equal to our tension one minus our weight force minus tension two, because well, if you're trying to go upwards and you're bringing up someone else with you, um, of course it's gonna you're gonna need more work to have the same acceleration. Okay, now we're trying to solve for T1 here, so what that's going to mean is MA plus MG plus T2 is equal to T1. Seems about reasonable, and this is just going to be M um, A plus G plus T2 is equal to T1. And let's sub in our numbers. We know our mass is going to be 4.20 kilograms. Our acceleration upwards, 1.6 times 10, uh, oh, it's just 1.6, my bad, meters per second squared, plus 9.8 meters per second squared, plus uh, T2, and T2 was 47.88 uh, newtons, and that's equal to T1, and I have a feeling that this is just, just going to be double the last one. Um, yeah, it actually just is double the last one. Um, that makes sense. The top one is supporting double the weight. It's supporting two identical blocks, and the middle and the the lower one is only supporting one of the blocks. So um, it actually seems pretty reasonable to me that they would it would just be perfectly double. So this is going to be uh, T1 90. Oops, you can't see that. 95.76 uh, Newtons. Okay, so that's going to be the T1 tension. Um, hopefully we have a similar calculation here. Precisely the same. Awesome. Okay, so now let's look at part B. So if the strings can withstand a maximum of 97 <coughs> Newtons, what is a maximum acceleration before the first string breaks? Okay, so um, the maximum here, we can actually see that the tension in, in T1 is just going to be like um, double t2 so if um to solve for that um okay so part b we are going to need maximum acceleration stay under um, 97.0 newtons of force in the t in the cable okay so um, we are still gonna have our original equations so um, where we know that our our total mass So M1 uh, plus M2. So our total mass that is going to be supported times um, upwards. So let's just leave that as A for now. Acceleration to solve for. this is going to be um, equivalent like we're going to set it up in the same way it's going to be um, you know the tension upwards whoops it's not going to be the total mass my bad it's just going to be um, one of the masses it's going to be equal to the the tension in one
um, minus mass times gravity minus tension 2 and um, we know that tension 2 is um, you know pulling its original equation out it's gonna be uh, mass times acceleration that we're trying to solve for times gravity minus mg so this is minus m a plus g and uh, here we're gonna have m a so we're just gonna try to solve for a so um, uh, tension one we know that it's gonna be a maximum of 97 um, but let, let's actually just algebra this out so that we can um, isolate A first, but we know that T1 is just going to be 97. Minus Mg, minus Ma, plus uh, Mg. Actually, minus Mg, my bad. Some minus out front. Okay, isolating for... Uh, bring we have 2ma is equal to t1 minus mg minus 2mg actually and divide everything by 2m so a is going to be equal to t1 over 2m um, minus g Okay, so subbing in all of our numbers, we're going to get A is equal to the top tension. That's going to be 97 newtons. 2 times the mass, 4.20 kilograms. And minus 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. Okay, let's figure this out. 97 divided by... Um, 2 times 4.2 that whole thing minus 9.8 and A is uh, my calculation for that is 1.747 meters per second squared slightly higher than what we did before but uh, that makes sense because our tension is going to be slightly like our tension limit is slightly more than um, our previous acceleration okay so this uh, definitely looks like and feels like a reasonable answer so we're most likely good on that one okay so hopefully we have the same answer down here 1.47 uh, 1.747 that's awesome and that's a question complete with precision above solution is good awesome